comic book writer Matt Fraction may not be a household name, but the stories and characters he writes most definitely are. Best known for his work for Marvel comic characters Thor and Iron Man, Matt was in Singapore for the first time and loving every minute of it. And we're here with Matt Fraction, of course he's the comic book writer for Thor, if you didn't know, you know, and uh, of course other comic book. Um, thanks for joining us on the show, Matt. Hey, thanks. How's it going? Okay, so first impressions of Singapore, I know it's your first time here. Oh, it's, it's amazing. It's, uh, uh, I love it. It's great. Uh, and, the, and the weather is very much like where I'm from, so uh, I, I feel right at home. Okay, where are you from? Uh, well, I, uh, Charlotte, North Carolina, gets like this in the summer. It's sort of muggy, hot all the time. Like sleep with the windows open, it was great. Yeah, no, I, I really feel like it's like being home in August. It's great. Okay, so what have you heard about Singapore? I mean, prior to coming here, I, I was told that I had to eat. I was told that I needed to eat as much as possible. Um, and they're trying to do that. I think they're trying to kill us with food. Uh, uh, but yeah, and that everyone is great. I heard, I heard friendly and eat as much as you can. So uh, so far, everything is proven. There's proven to be absolutely correct. Uh, awesome. People have been amazing, and the food is delicious. So well received was his take on Iron Man that director John Favreau and team employed Matt as a consultant on Iron Man Two. When the story was coming, they, they were big, uh, John uh, Favreau and Justin Thoreau and Kevin Feige uh, were fans of the book and liked what I was doing. Um, and so when they were putting the second story together, they wanted someone around to sort of like Iron Man check them. So we just kind of talked about it for like a week uh, as the script was being built. Um, it was a lot of fun. Okay, so you went on set, right? No, no, it was in like the studios before before the shooting even started. Yeah, were you invited to like meet uh, Robert Downey or anyone? He just, like I showed up, We le- I, he left as I was arriving. He went to the UK to shoot Sherlock Holmes the day I showed up in LA. So he was supposed to, but yeah, it didn't, it didn't work out. So maybe, maybe if uh, if there's a, if I get asked to help on Iron Man three, but, uh, but yeah, we just missed each other. John Favreau isn't coming back for the third Iron Man film, but if the next director wants to preserve the authenticity, I'm hoping they get Matt back on the job. So what does Matt think about the sudden surge of comic book film adaptations? Can you give us like your impressions on the whole uh, Marvel? Uh Resurgence of movies coming out in a big franchise, you know? Yeah, it's great. Uh, you get to see what happens when the guys that are involved with the comics are involved with the film and aren't just... Uh, uh, look at how many movies have failed. And uh, I, mean, I think Iron Man, the first one especially, was a success by anyone's measure. Uh, uh, I, I have a feeling Thor is going to be amazing. Um, and it's the people who are involved with the books that are involved with the films. And I think it just translates. You can tell... What happens when somebody is a hired gun and, and makes a horrible Superman film or whatever? Uh, when somebody who actually loves it and, and, and makes a makes a great, you know, comic book movie. Was that a dig at Brian Singer? I wasn't meant to be. I just sort of went to went to the the big, you know, I, I just that movie didn't work and it was very expensive and there's no reason that a Superman movie shouldn't work. Okay, so what's your impressions uh, now that the Thor trailer has been simmering in the in the universe for quite a number of months now? What, what do you think? What's the I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I can't wait. You'd think one superstar comic book writer in the family would be enough, but Matt's wife, Kelly Sue DeConnick, is also a comic book writer. Your wife, Kelly Sue, uh, is also a comic book writer, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does, it, does it ever get um, competitive you know, at home or collaborative? Um, we're sort of, not so much that, but like we each kind of can recognize when the other's having like a, a bad day or, you know, or sort of like when someone's stuck, you can need to know when to like, all right, you need to cook something or whatever and... We're used to sort of like, oh, I have to go write this down and running away to go write some, you know, we have weird dinner conversations and stuff like that. So, uh, but no, it's it's uh, very nurturing, you know, it's, it's a marriage. You can't, it can't be too, uh, although we do kind of turn everything into a competition. I'm sure that's coming. But right now it's it's very supportive and nurturing and pretty good. She did a, she wrote the book when she was pregnant. Like, that's the thing that when you read it, it's like, this is a mother. Like, she wrote this vampire thing when she was pregnant with her first kid. And it's like the most grisly thing in the universe. I don't know. Something about her and babies and body trauma. I don't know. My wife needs help. Maybe it's just women in pregnancy. I think it's it's uh, 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 something very Kelly Sue specific. I don't know. Some of Kelly Sue's credits include Osborne for Marvel comic books and Thirty Days of Night Bloodsucker Tales for IDW Publishing. You're a father of two. Uh, I'm trying to get this right. Henry Leo and uh, Tallulah Louise. Very good. Holy cow! Look at you. Do my research, you, man. You Come really on. Did. I appreciate that. Thank you, sir. Okay. Um, any intentions of uh, uh, writing children's books? Maybe you know. You know, uh, it's I, I never. Yeah, yeah. I never thought about it until I had kids, and now it's like, oh, I could, I could. Yeah, yeah. It's right, right, right. So um, we'll see. Maybe. With a writer of his caliber, Matt has attracted a fair few crazy fan stories. Have you had any crazy? Fanboy stories, though. 
There was, um, yeah, there was a, uh, there was a guy in New York. New York, it's all in New York. Everything's been wonderful except New York, which is where it's really crazy. There was a guy who, uh, yeah, like, he's like, yeah, no offense. And it's like a, it's an X Men panel, and I'm on one side, and Chris Claremont is there. He's like a legend, like a living legend, you know, like, uh, like I'm clearly standing on his shoulders. Anybody that writes X Men does. <laughs> the guy goes, yeah, uh, no offense, but uh, you shouldn't be writing X Men, and they should give it back to Chris. I'm gonna sit down. He had no question. He just wanted to stand up and. Like say that, yeah, yeah. My, my editor looked over and went, like, "Yeah, no offense." Coming up next, we meet two Asian comic book artists who have worked on both DC and Marvel characters, and they offer their insights on how Singaporeans can get their work overseas. 